Hey, what's good family? Just wanted to make a quick video showing you how I analyze where the price of a stock is likely to expire on Fridays using the Moomoo app. But real quick, before we get into it, if you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to sign up for the Moomoo app using the referral link down below in the description. Right now, when you sign up using that link, they are offering up to 15 free stocks. And not only are they offering up to 15 free stocks, but they are offering 8.1% on all uninvested money. That's a lot more money your money is earning when it's not invested than it is in those other brokerages. So if you haven't already, be sure to check that out. Now get into the video. Before I show you how I actually go in and check the charts, it's important that you understand that for every option trade that you take, there is someone on the other end hoping to profit. So whenever you buy an options contract, someone is selling you an option contract. And while you're hoping for that options contract to increase in price, they make money as it decreases in price. The majority of the time, the person on the other end of that options contract is what is referred to as a market maker. Typically market makers have access to large amounts of capital and they can actually use this capital to push the price of the stock up or sell the price of the stock down. So because they have the power to do that and because they are selling all these options contracts, of course, they're going to want the price of an options contract to expire wherever it's going to make them the most money. Keep this in mind as we're going over this. All right, so here we are in the Moomoo app. What I'm going to do here is pretty much I'm going to pick any stock. Doesn't matter what stock, as long as there are options, we're going to be able to analyze the options on it. So just for example, here, let's go. Let's take a look at what's something that moves up. Let's take a look at Meta. All right, if we come over to meta and then we click on options uh, we can actually click on analysis and right here when we click on analysis we have all this different information so right here off the back we're looking at the volume you can see um, the blue line is the total volume and the orange line is the call to put ratio one thing that you'll typically notice the higher that orange line the more puts there are out there so typically the higher you see that orange line the more likely they are to run the price higher now coming in and taking a look at this uh we're scrolling down to the next section where it says volume by strike price uh, we are looking it is september 27th as i make this which means there are no days to expiration it is a friday options contracts expire today which is why i'm making this video now what i'm going to do to figure out where i think options are going to most likely expire at the end of the day you can see right here all of these different strike prices they all have positions open and if you look at the little number hovering in the gray as you're hovering over you can see right here for instance we're looking at the 512.5 strike there is one call there is 22 puts and a total options volume of 23. now if we move over here to where you see the bars that are way longer this is where all the volume is for the contract all right so you can see the most volume for the calls is going to be above 570 so and it looks like it goes as high as 590 and then for the puts the most puts for the volume or the most volume for the puts is going to be below 565. So just right there with that information, where do you think the price needs to be for the people on the other side of the contracts to make the least money? If you guess right in between 565 and 570, you would be correct. Typically more Fridays than not, you'll notice a stock will trade between where the highest volume is for the calls and between where the highest volume is for the puts because that is what is going to make the market maker the most money. You can see there are definitely more puts at 565, which is 25,000, than there are calls at 570. So it might be more beneficial to have it closer to that 570 than it is to the 565. But usually just by looking at that, you can kind of get a sense of what's the range gonna be, where is it likely to expire, and kind of get a sense of things like that now going in and looking at the chart if we look at meta for the day let's see where they open up here let's go on a five minute chart here looking at meta on the five minute charts um 
the day opened up right here. They opened up at 570.84, and it looks like they pretty much bottomed out around 565. Right there in between that trading range. And uh, we actually came down. They spent some time down here at that 565 level, made it seem like that's where it was going to expire right before sending it back up to the 570 level, which it will likely expire below. There's a lot you can do with this information. I would say nine times out of 10 on a Friday, on the day of expiration, stocks are usually going to trade in between those numbers unless there is some kind of news catalyst some kind of big event stocks typically trade between those numbers so once again if you haven't already taken advantage of it be sure to sign up for Moomoo. Moo. get up to 15 free stocks down below in the description along with 8.1 percent back on uninvested cash if you enjoyed this video or learned anything be sure to smash the like button if for some reason you're new here and haven't already be sure to subscribe and last but certainly not least Thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off. And I want to change your life. Man, that feels good. It's been a minute since I've done that.